Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the Raw GMJ. What's up? And it's now time for Ask the GMs. Hey. You want to speak to? She want to say hello to. See, she said hello. So y'all say hello back. Ain't that right? Okay. Natty would love her. Okay. But let's get to down to it. Sadly, we only have two questions from one person from Julia Man 133. Thank you for being a loyal fan. Thank you. Sorry, I had to get my tea. So, his first question is, if you can be in a triple threat match at um, WrestleMania, who will be your opponent and why? Well, one, of course, would be Randy Orton. Okay? He's my favorite guy right now. And it would just be amazing to beat the Apex Predator and the Viper, the Legend Killer, Randy Orton. Beat him, you're amazing. You don't have to go to John Cena to beat him. If you beat Rand Orton, you are already over John Cena. And my other person will be my all-time favorite, of course, Edge, the Radar Superstar. Because, one, I grew up watching him as well. He was my favorite wrestler back when I started, all the way till he retired. And, you know... I'm pretty sure if me and him was in the ring, I would learn something from him. And plus, I damn sure know that we would tear the house down. So those be my two opponents at WrestleMania in our true threat match. Hopefully for the Universal Championship or the WWE Championship. That would be amazing. I'll put that out there to Stephanie because she would like that. Oh, hey y'all, it's me, TLC, T to the L to the C, you know, SmackDown General Manager of Fearless Revolution. Hey guys, welcome to Ask GM. I know I probably look really ratchet right now. Didn't do my hair. I just threw on a hoodie, I'm wearing pajamas. It's one of those chill days, you know, I've been busy like all week, and I haven't really had chill days except for like two or three days now, so I deserve this, and I don't care what you guys think, because I'm just answering two questions. Anyways, so I'm going to get to the questions, the only two questions that we have, and they're pretty good questions. Okay, these questions, um, I don't remember who they're from. Oh, the one who made, um, Satoru, that's who the questions are. Thank you, it's Satoru. She's really good, like, really good. I might want her on my roster if, you know, Jay doesn't get her first. Anyway, if you could be in a triple threat at WrestleMania, who would your opponents be and why? Well... I would pick, you know, women, but since I'm a guy, honestly, my opponents would probably be... <laughs> if you can see a goldfish in my mouth, I don't care. Anyway, my opponents would probably be uh, Dolph Ziggler and Dean Ambrose. And you want to know why? So I can touch that ass, like, of course. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Honestly, okay, that's one of the reasons. And because they're like my babes, they're like my husbands of WWE. And they're both really good, and I would just like to have a match with them. Dean's crazy, and Dolph is very talented. And honestly, I would win by being sexual and distracting. <laughs> but anyway, um, the second question. Again, thank you, Jeremy. And I'll put his link down below so y'all can check his videos out, Kai. He's good. But anyway. If you can be any WWE superstar, past or present, who would it be and why? <sighs> to be honest, I'd probably be a female um, superstar. And I know some of y'all probably think it would be Trish Stratus because she's the one got me star watching wrestling, but no. 
it won't be her. Even though you got me into wrestling. But the person would be is either Mickey James or AJ Lee. Because our their wrestling character in some of AJ Lee um real life kind of mixed in for me. Because you know their character on WWE Mickey James and AJ Lee was set to be a psycho phase and a crazy phase. So I can be crazy. I really can. Not this much. Not this much. Maybe this much or this much. But who cares? I do. So shut up. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't shut up. Just listen. And how my life fits with AJ Lee real life is because we both like video games. I love, love, love video games. If I can do that all day, every day, I would. But um, yeah, for AJ Lee, for me, I think I'll choose AJ Lee because we have so much in common and she started making changes for the women's today. I don't care because some of y'all think the Bella Twins started this. But she didn't start it. They didn't start it. Paige, I like Paige, but she didn't start it either. It was Stephanie McMahon, okay? I'm tired of everybody, and I can say what I want because this is my opinion. But I'm tired of everybody going out there. Oh, the Bell Twins started this Divas Revolution. Oh, the Bell Twins started this Women's Revolution. No, the hell they didn't. Okay? Like everybody saying, Natalia, uh, AJ Lee, she threw shade at them one time, and I'm kind of throwing shade at them because. All their life and their careers, they cheated. And Bella Army, you can come for me if you want to. But I'll be the winner here because I will clap back. I will. Or I'll just leave y'all looking stupid. But I really don't care right now because everybody's so obsessed with the Bella Twins. For what? My name is for them Carmella. cheating all and year I'm round? <laughs> Let's be and honest. Island, and my friend back is, at. It's me. I think this was Survivor Series, AJ Lee versus Nikki Bella, Diva Championship. AJ Lee would have won that match if it wasn't for Brie Bella. Because Brie Bella kissed AJ Lee and distracted her. And what Nikki do? Hit the rack attack. But Bella Twins, oh, I mean Bella Twins, the Bella Army, I can't say Nikki has improved a lot in the ring from when they first started. But however, I don't understand it. And AJ threw shade at her, which y'all probably didn't catch, but I did. When she said after Bree versus AJ, and AJ lost, got Nikki helped Bree again. AJ got back in the ring and said, Well, there it is, everybody. It has to take two Bella Twins to be the champion, which it does. And then if she went and threw the shade. When she said, talent is not sexually transmitted. See, some of y'all think she was referring to when Brie kissed her uh, that following that last night. But it wasn't that. If y'all would think about it, when she says, talent is not sexually transmitted, she was saying that they giving the Bella Twins, giving, they not earning, they giving. The Bella Twins, all the chances in the world, they give them everything because they dating superstar John Cena. They dating superstar Daniel Bryan. That's what the shade was with AJ Lee threw. But let's get off the Bella Twins. Sorry, Bella Army, but I have to speak the truth. I have to. But anyway, AJ Lee becomes. She accomplished a lot of things and 
her the story mode they gave her when she had different type of boyfriends. I wouldn't do that to be honest. But AJ Lee was like the leadership of the Divas Revolution back then when she was there. But now, right now, to be honest, it's, for Raw, it's all about the Queen Charlotte. And SmackDown is soon to be VAD, Bad herself, Naomi, the Glow Queen. Because she finna make her mark now. She finna become the next SmackDown Women's Champion. Just watch. Just watch. But anyway, AJ Lee, yeah, I would be her. Gosh, she led these women down the road to success. And that's what I want to do. Okay, and for the last question, I can't. This is the shortest Q and A I've ever done. You guys, I love you guys, but like, please give us more questions next time, and I'll promise to be more professional and dressed. Anyway, so last question is: If you can be any any WWE superstar, past or present, who would it be and why? <laughs> well, obviously, if I could be one from the present, it would be Dolph Ziggler, <laughs> because Dolph Ziggler is like hot and gorgeous and really talented like I, that's all like why is that all i say about him that's pretty bad um but Del Ziggler from the past i'm gonna say a past one too mm. from the past i probably jump hardy because jump hardy is extremely awesome and like i just love his style and his face paint and how he comes out and everybody gets electric for him like that's probably who i'd be in the past i wish you guys asked like women questions you know i mean considering it's a women's show but it's fine I like these questions different. And yeah, so that's gonna be the end of this. Um, Jay will have his questions answered as well, so yeah. So bye guys, thank you for watching Fearless Revolution. I almost did my own intro for my intro for my own channel. I might do it anyway. Please like and subscribe and make our lives more fabulous than the Kardashians. Yeah. Bye guys. And that's it, so we need more questions for next month. And sorry for me ranting on about other people and things, but please be a loyal fan like Junior Man 133 because we need more questions. Because I, we, me and TLC, we try and get this channel up and popping. But we can't do that if people won't comment and subscribe and um, like the videos. Hell, you can even dislike the videos. I don't really care. Just do something to make this channel pop because we need this. If y'all want a giveaway starting, just picture giveaways. Y'all can get a private game system, a game card, or a rapid club of the WWE Championship or Universal Championship, or for the ladies or the mans that want the Women's Championship, the Raw or SmackDown Women's Championship, come on. We got to start doing better because the work that we put in and the less views we get then I will say these people name but I ain't, I ain't gonna be petty but it's a shame that people with less subscribers get more views and likes than the person who got more subscribers than Mostly everybody out here like what the heck, but it's okay. It's all good because I know that one day, one day will come true. So anyway, I'm gonna leave a link below where y'all can um. I had a brain fart. I just woke up, so yeah. But um, I'm gonna leave a link below where y'all can go and ask questions, and we also give advice too. So. Thank y'all. I love y'all. Stay fearless and hopefully for the better in the near future. Guys, we got plenty of plans for y'all, but we just have to get everything up. We gotta get the views up. We gotta get the likes up, the comments up. Come on. So, with that being said, I got to finish some business. Now, let me also tell y'all another um, thing before I go. The videos that be uploading that y'all see, 
sometimes I don't remember what we made because I do my videos either a month or two months in the head. In the head. I try to say advance, but the head came out. But two months in advance because, you know, sometimes I have to look for jobs. And, you know, when I look for jobs, I look for jobs seriously. And the other thing, you know, we need a break sometimes. Kind of, we have to sit down, master plan, like what the next story is going to be. Who should we push? Who should we do that? Who should we do this? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so when y'all ask me questions like, uh, why you not playing such and so, such and so? Why um, this person not in? Who gonna be in this match? I really don't remember. I probably remember some of them, but if I don't remember, it just, just know it, it was a month ago or two. So that's all I gotta say about that. So everything y'all see come probably the end of February is already pre-made. Anyway, with that being said, go like, subscribe, and honey, make this show more famous. Because Fearless Revolution rocks. Okay? And go get y'all some booty alright? So see y'all. Love y'all. Bye.